All right. Finally, so I'm here. Let's get started. Today's topic is going to be the Star Wars. So I picked the Star Wars and I really like it. So just to let you know, guys, uh, this is going to be intermediate tutorial. I mean, intermediate streaming. Basically, uh, we're going to do the modeling over here. But I already have an engine that I already made it in the past. And let me hide this. Hit Control H, let Shift H. I also got some pods over here. But it's more like a concept designing. I will be doing the concept over here. So that's the main purpose behind it. I will be doing more concepting over here. So let's stick with the concept over here. And that's what I'm going to do with it over here, actually. All right, so let's get started. First thing first, I do need the reference. I'm going to bring out some reference. And by the way, who's uh, quite new over here, I'm running online classes on Skype. You can join it if you want. Uh, anytime, you're always welcome. And let me turn on, there's a software called Pure Ref. I will be using this a lot, especially when I'm using, uh, you know, taking a lot of references. So yeah so let me take out some references by the way a uh, little bit history about this uh, model uh, this model I made in 3ds max way I guess 2013 yeah that was the time and that was the crappy rem renders I bring it out as you can see it's pretty uh, I just don't like it just <laughs> it's just it's just so weird and so it's, it's quite disappointing but it's an old work that's uh, I'm going to fix this I'm going to make it more realistic render frankly speaking so um, yeah thank you man <laughs> so uh, thank you thank you for the comment I'll try to keep it up I uh, really appreciate, frankly speaking, lots of likes coming. I didn't knew that. You guys really like this work? I didn't knew that. That's really, really awesome. Wow. So, uh, again, telling, it's an old work, which I did it in 3ds Max. So what I did is I bring out this engine and bring it into Maya. And I will be doing some complex modeling over here in order to get some realistic output. Now, here's the fun part. We will complete this uh you know from modeling to texturing till even sculpting that's what i'm i'm planning to do and also uh doing some uh texturing and substance painter and then uh, do the final renders so it's going to be a complete project now i don't know how many lives it will take uh today i will be taking i guess one two two hour live i guess so maybe on next Sunday I will be continuing this project because I think this will going to take time from modeling till final render. So it's going to take time, that's for sure. So you have to stick with me. So um, anyhow, let's uh, start with this model. Now as you can see over here, everything is squad and that is important that when you're doing modeling, you want to make sure that you have a quad geometry. Also, I'm going to make sure that I have some groups over here. So I hope you already have the experience with Maya because I will not be explaining over here the basics. If you want to go with the basics, you can join the online classes which I'm giving on Skype. So feel free to join and let's begin. So I'm going to collect all these fans and blades. I take the reference from the Boeing 747 engine and use it over here. I do have a similar project as well. I'll give you that link as well. Uh, let me pull out this link quickly. Just take two minutes. Da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Where is it? It's also done in 3ds Max, but you can see the results and the rendered quality and I will try to achieve the similar quite quality. I'm giving you this uh, link. It's in the comment section and you can watch that. And uh, it's the, you know, going to be a detailed render over here. Now this 
uh, I took it, it's pretty old. I took it in a V-Ray and then composited it and with the, you know, After Effects. So you can watch it if you want to see how the render is going to look. But we're not going to do the V-Ray over here. Uh, we will try with the Arnold or maybe the, uh, um, you know, other softwares. Now, frankly speaking, I have no idea in uh, what's going to be, how it's going to be look like. So let's stick with that. But let's continue. All right, so we have these blades over here. And just to avoid this, it's just for the gaming purposes. So I have the blades, but you can see my pivot is over here. So I'm going to click on center pivot. So we can run this engine if you want to run. And we can do the animation as well. I'll do the animation also. So we'll see. All right, uh, let's continue further. So I'm going to add some details and for the details, I really need some references. So I'm going to pop, bring out some references. I do have some little bit like these gadgets and all these things. I'm bringing out all these references and let me bring these two references as well. I'm also in going to include my old uh, render as well, which is, I know it's quite crappy, but yeah, it's going to work for me. And sorry about that. I don't. I need to shut down my Skype because since I'm, uh, you know, running online classes, a lot of students try to contact, so it's quite normal for me. Uh, let's bring the reference over here. It's going to work. All right. Cool. Uh, I think I need a little bit scud over here on this to just to protect the. Uh, this engine. So I'm going to add a cube. Let's bring the cube over here and I will go fast as much as I can. Uh, um, it can be for you um, if you are in 3D. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a 3D model over here. If you like this video, you can watch. If you have some background with the 3D, so you can watch that. So it can be for you. So besides, I, I believe that, uh, you know, even if you don't have the experience with the 3D, you still can watch it. I mean, there's no disadvantage. I mean, you're going to maybe going to find something interesting. Maybe you're going to find something new that you never experienced it. So yeah, uh, watching this video is not a disadvantage. And probably sharing the knowledge over here so you can watch this and let me turn off the grid and just scale up and I'm going to do add some quickly some cuts over here maybe like that like that all right uh, we got some scots are coming out and I'll just bring the face I Think so. What actually I'm doing is figure out some designs, and that's how the you know you do the designing part. Uh, that's how the concepts works. So I'm trying to figure out some concepts over here, uh, just playing with the concepts. Now generally, um, I do modeling, concepting, texturing, lighting, photography. I do a lot of stuff. I am seriously. It's a lot of uh, for the brain, <laughs> but I like this. I, I really like this. It's quite a, it's more like a drug for me, frankly speaking. <laughs> I, I really, really need this drug every day. I do sketching a lot every day, honestly. And I would recommend you guys do too. I mean, even if you're not good with sketching. So try some sketchings, you know, uh, it's going to be really, really useful. So, yeah, give it a try. So, again, playing with the concept over here. And just bring it out like that. Let's select this one and just, you know, kind of flatten out. All right, looks good. So, I'm just trying to figure out some kind of a design. And that's the main point over here. You need to kind of a uh, design that looks cool. You know, it should be look cool. Uh, that's why, that's what they do in the films, you know, thing looks awesome, you know, and they <laughs> look so cool. So you really need that. So yeah, 
that's what I'm doing over here I'm going to bring it over here like that and I think I'm going to select all this and just move it up and yeah it looks cool actually you know what it looks cool yeah I mean look at this design is coming out and try I'm just doing the blocking over here this is not in the details right now first I'm going to focus on the blocking once the blocking is done then I will be start adding more details into it so I'm just making a copy and yeah that looks cool I want to make sure that we have an equal distance and let me try just a little bit maybe more maybe a little bit more gap just like that there we go all right not bad I think we have a big 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 hole over here on his butt I think we need some uh, a cone so uh, also I want to make sure that all the pivots are into the center delete by type history and freeze transformation so again this is not a beginner tutorial just not even tutorial I mean to say live streaming but uh, I hope you have the experience of that uh, Maya you can start working on it all right cool uh, let me rotate this around 90 degree looks good um, let's go to the side view um, in the isolate and turn on the wireframe let me bring up some music looks good yeah and there we go all right so let's move this over here look good and feel free to any kind of a question if you have I can answer it and keep your question in the comment sections I will be answering all those questions if you have make sure you bring some popcorns as well to enjoy the show you select this vortex and delete there we go control one and right click object and scale it up like that there we go and let's select all these I'm going to just bring it down like that or like a cone so I'm adding some aerodynamics over here luckily I do have some experience with the uh, aeronautics you know so I know how the aeronautic works so I'm going to do a chamfered and and you know what I was just watching some Elon Musk and videos and the you know he's making amazing rockets over there it's just guy that guy is amazing and he's making amazing rocks you know oh my god my big fan is over here <laughs> you really really <laughs> wow welcome uh, sorry to disappoint you that I didn't do the ZBrush but I have a surprise for you uh, when you said that uh, we uh, I'm, I'm not doing the ZBrush and you showed a gif with the you know so I thought that I thought about it and for a moment you know what I decided that I'm going to add a character as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the engine and then adding some parts so just to show you that I will be adding this part not this one actually I'm going to redesign it again because this look pretty crappy So I'm going to redesign it and put a character over here who is sitting and we will be doing that in ZBrush so that means uh, yes we will be doing some character over here so yeah um, you know bali bali so yeah we're going to add a character let's get it up so if you have any question feel free to again you can say it so like I was saying that uh, Elon Musk is actually making a lot of rockets and I was looking their injuring and it's really amazing you know I, I was really inspired by that that guy is amazing man He's doing a lot of stuff <laughs> and now he's the you know, world's richest guy Wow so what are you making in this project any reference yeah 
uh, that's why I always come first uh, just to show you a recap again um, this is what I'm making um, this is a Star Wars project I'm making a Star Wars over here so if you have seen the movie Star Wars you have seen their uh, racing parts was quite uh, you know um, they were making some race and that's how it began so I will be making this quite similar uh, but uh, the cool thing is that I made this project in 3ds Max I think in 2012 and this was a crappy render came out but uh, now I want to redesign again and make it look awesome I already put a link over there in the comment section uh, that uh, how the render quality looks like but that's just a you know that's even the old render which was done in V-Ray but this time I will be doing some more I will be adding some VFX on also I will be doing a lot of things on this projects so that's that's my goal is frankly speaking uh, now honestly I don't know how how it's going to be look like at the end and I don't know what will be the new surprises coming into this screen but yeah, I believe it's going to be awesome. That's what I believe. So I'm just going to just reduce this. So I'm, again, I'm just doing some blocking over here. Um, bringing out these details and all these things. And let me just scale it up like that. There we go. And let's select this one. Hold on shift and just you know, move it in and extrude it. There we go. And let's go to the side view. I'm going to right click object. So, I guess you already have seen the uh, Star Wars, right? It's a big movie, I guess, right? You all guys seen it, right? There's no doubt about it. Don't tell me you haven't seen it. Come on, man. What about you, Himanji? Have you seen that movie? Oh. Okay, this is also separated. I want to make sure that they're connected. Okay, let's select this one and hit Control G to make it group like that. It's really awesome movie, you know, Star Wars. Love that movie. I remember that when I saw that. Yeah, um, yes. Is this the part from racing scene? From the Yes, uh, it's the scene from the Star Wars. Uh, let me see if we can find a good reference for this one. Especially when I saw the Star Wars. Uh, what was the name? Let's try pod. Let's try that. Uh, Phantom Menace. I'm not sure. Maybe I guess the Phantom Menace. Man, you are really a big fan now, oh, man. Seriously, man, you have a lot of information. Maybe, yes, it's uh, from the Phantom Menace. Yes, 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 it's from the Phantom Menace. Wow, you know that. Whoa, that's cool, man. So, yeah, um, I'm, if I look for the vehicle. And probably, yeah, there we go. There we go. So this kind of a scene was made at it. But... Uh, it they made it very old and rusty. I'm tr uh, looking for something looking more futuristic and much better in the details. So you can see the details are not good enough. I mean, it's good, but not good enough for me. So uh, I'm going to add a little bit more details and adding some more, you know, parts into it. Just bring out the, make it more better. So that's my whole concept about this. Wow, you know that. <laughs> Really impressed, amazing man. You know a lot of information. Okay, so let's keep continue. And I'm going to turn off that gamma. I don't like that. I like to work in the dark. There we go. Again, just adding some aerodynamics over here. Now trying to figure out if it's a center point. Let's see if it's, uh, this looks better. Doesn't need to be exact, but close enough, you know. And uh, make it a little bit small. Yep. And there we go. Looks pretty cool. Let's hit Control-1. Let me select this faces and delete. Go to the edge. I really love that movie, seriously. 
but I was confused with the parts, you know, because uh, what happened is that I started with the Phantom Menace and then later on I saw the other parts. It was quite confusing. I don't know where to start the movie. I mean, Star Wars is sometimes get be confusing. Um, if you, uh, especially if you don't able to understand the story, it's really get confusing, you know, sometimes. So, but yeah, it's, I like the VFX. And especially just to know you, the guys, that uh, Star Wars, after Star Wars, that whole industry, the island industry was founded by the John Lucas. And later on, uh, all these VFX that we see now, it's uh, done by the ILM. So ILM is the biggest one. So definite, definitely, he's the godfather of the VFX. Yeah, there was some other artists as well, uh, like Matt Cutmill. Uh, now he's working in the Pixar. But still, VFX all goes to the Star Wars. So he's really like a godfather. So I'm just doing more like designing part over here. Like that. So I will be keep playing with the concept because I really don't know what will be the end result. But my goal is to get a concept, bring out some concept from this. And yeah, that's the main purpose behind it. I will be adding some more wires, I guess. It looks pretty s less details. So yeah, let's try some wires and just trying to find out where I can add the wires. Maybe over here. Now, here's the uh, fun part. If I get close, you can see these hard edges. And we need to make sure that it has some enough details. And also, I'm making this in a mid-poly. So that means I will be just adding some chamfers to the edges. So there's no high poly and low poly. Because since we are making for the film, so we can... Now add some, I think this looks good. Yeah, there we go. Just adding some detail, looks pretty cool. Sir, how will we create that spark on the part shows in reference? Uh, spark, okay. Uh, let me to uh, tell you that, that uh, spark that you see, I added within the After Effects. So what I did is that bring out some element videos and add it into the After Effects and uh, just it just uh, work like that. So maybe in the final results, I will be doing that spark, not just spark, but adding a lot of uh, things over here. So generally you don't make these things because you need to understand that in the VFX industry, we don't create everything. I mean, I'm not going to add the dynamics, dust and smoke. That part is the post-production. So that comes into the later on. Well, if you're looking for the 3D part, that means you have to go into the fluid dynamics, the fluid or maybe the end particles can do that job. But still, if you add that, if you're really looking into that, then you have to go into the dynamics. And that is completely di different than the modeling, you know. So it depends what you uh, what is your goal is that are you wanted to do this in completely in the modeling stage or you want to go with the VFX as well some people are that do the VFX and the modeling as well they do a lot of stuff I'm going to add some smoothing groups because as you can see it doesn't look good you can see it's pretty jaggy Let's select this face and let's go all the way over here. Whoops. I think I'll start with over here. Nope. Let's try this. Okay. If this happening, just select like that. There we go. Problem solved. And hold on shift and maybe we can go to the mesh display and just do the soften. Just, let's see what we get the result. So yeah, it's look good. Not bad. That's a good one. I do need to make the smoothing groups. That's for sure. So let me select these faces. 
So yeah, if you are really going into for that Spark and all these things, you need to do the uh, VFA, uh, I mean the simulation as well. But I wouldn't suggest you right now, because I, uh, I would suggest you just focus on the modeling first, improve your modeling. Once you improve that, then you can start uh, doing the VFX and other things as well. Again, doing the smoothing group. Let me select all this and let's see what we get. Let me take out this one. Let's try 35 degree. Um, looks fine. Okay to me. Okay, not bad. Let's try this one. Let's take this edge. Control F11. Shift. There we go. Okay. Today, per Pratik is missing actually, you know. <laughs> Where's that guy? <laughs> the gamer. <laughs> okay, let's select this one. There we go. Let's apply this one. Five. Let's select this one. And it's pretty cool. So you can take any value. Uh, you can take 45, whatever suits you. I'm taking uh, 35. Uh, I generally go with the lowest value and then gradually goes up. That's the best point, you know, that's the best way actually. And when you have a proper circular surface, then you want to go with the, you know, soften edges. That's the best way. Now it started looking kind of, the shape is really, really coming out now. Yeah, it looks cool. Let's try this one as well. There we go. And let's do a soften edges. Ta-da. And yeah, there we go really coming out now and let me reduce the selection actually and let's select this one let's do a soften okay not bad and let's do another soften and let's select this one and do another soften I'm just you know separating this stuff over here again it's up to you whatever you feel comfortable Going to select this one. Oops, not too much. Sometimes you have to control on your face. I actually, you know what? Since I've started playing games, um, all, all, offline. Okay, not online right now. I'm not playing uh, off online games. I'm planning to do to, but still, I start doing modeling very quickly, and it really helps. So games really helps a lot, but too much games can be a problematic so just be aware okay <laughs> just <laughs> letting you know that okay <laughs> so <laughs> that doesn't mean that you have to play game all day okay so games are good but not too much okay just be aware <laughs> because it allows you to start working on your keys but too much games can be a problematic so it depends okay actually maybe next Sunday I will be playing games in the afternoon i guess that's that's my goal is right now <laughs> but let's see what comes out i'm not sure about it what's going to happen but let's see okay we have an open face over here which would look quite weird like this one so i think we need some kind of a so we will be play games if you say so that, 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 that's what I meant to be you know I didn't mean to be like that okay I mean to say play games but not too much okay that's the problem okay you know students always take wrong to me. wow you guys are very very smart okay that was a smart thing I'm going to delete this one because I wanted to make some thickness over here so I'm going to delete so let's start deleting this all parts over here and yeah we do have some screws over here and just screw it up let's hit control one and just select all these screws and let me delete these screws as well because we're not be using those screws as well so let me select this one and delete there we go let's select this one and go to the edge and hold on shift and extrude it out like that just scale it in I'm going to add a little bit thickness into it because it's look very thin. So that's the main point over here to add a little bit thickness and bring it in like that. Hey, okay. or maybe just 
keep it that way and delete the half. So we're going to select these faces and delete the half and then we can add some thickness into it. So it doesn't look that way. Cool. So just to add a thickness, I will just select this edge, just deselect and bring it go back. And now we need to make sure it's no, quite straight. Okay, let's hit control one. <clears throat> there we go. And now we need to connect them. Now this, this is a little bit challenging. How, how are we going to do the connection? So I'm going to select this one and just go to the target well. And let's do our target well over here and select this vertex. Bring it down. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Like that. Just select and hit F. And go to the target well. Let's do the target well to this one. Sometimes it's connect both. I'm going to take this one. There we go. Maintain the thickness. It looks fine. Great. And looks okay to me. Not bad. All right, let's move it up. Let's move it up like that. Okay, not bad. Maybe a little bit back. And yeah, so I'm just filling the gaps over here. Nobody's going to look and sneak out inside. So no worries how they look inside. Main thing is that I need a little bit more thickness over here so that we can fill up the gaps. So let's select that edge. And let me try that if we get, yep, there we go. Let's select this one and just scale it in like that and push it up. There we go, cool. And it's done. So now I do have a little bit shape over here, cool. Rock. Let's do some smoothing groups. Take this one and just double click and just do a smoothing group. Just do a soften normals. There we go. Looks perfect. Not bad. Let's do over here and let's do the soften edges. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, it's going to be a long one, I guess. It's a long shot, I must say that. But I I, I think uh, at the end, the results will is going to be awesome because the main thing is that my goal is over here is to make it in more detail. So that's what I'm looking for it, to make it more in details. You know, that's why I always keep my... Uh, lost projects that's what I call lost projects because I never uh, delete and throw into the trash bags these projects I always keep them so that later on I can start working on them I'm also thinking about that Iron Man which the last Sunday I wasn't able to do to complete it so I'm thinking about what to do with that so I'm still thinking about it. if you have any ideas on the Iron Man let me know Please uh, make sure to put that into the commands so we have some ideas and we can share it and we can start working on it. All right, cool. Let's select this face uh, and let's select these three faces and let's go to the mesh and let's do the hard edges over here. Looks good, perfect. I think we are now getting into the detail as you can see. Be having some detail now. Uh, just to make things a little bit more interesting, I'm going to change the material of this object. Actually, I'm going to select the engine and make sure these all parts are coming into the engine. Whoops, just there we go. And let me select this one and just drop it over here. So I'm going to select this one, hit shifty and apply uh, just a simple blend or form whatever you like I'll just apply the blend make it a little bit more darker and the this color I'm going to make it something like that so it's look awesome you know there we go wow it looks like a metal that's what we wanted <laughs> it should look like a metal so let's select this face do this face and this do this 
maybe till this select this one till this one whoops let's try i'm going to actually select the edge let's do that okay and then we'll go with the loop and 11 shift greater and let's go to the mesh display and try soften edges over here so we have some smoothing groups you know always really really useful now these polygons will not going to be visible actually they are going to be visible so i want to make sure that they are over there but it doesn't look good to me i want to make it a little bit more interesting out of this shape so i'll figure out to make it more interesting later on okay we do have this issue and this is coming from again smoothing groups i want to make sure that we have a nice smoothing groups going on and let's do that okay looks okay we have the selection over here let's try this one wow okay so let's come over here uh, to the mesh display and i think uh we'll be doing let's see if we can see it Mm. let's try uh soften and harden edge about 45 degree and apply it and see what we get just going to the object mode and just seeing the results okay we still have the artifacts and that is because of the typology because we have an end gone over here we need to resolve that and gone and i'll try that just go over here and boom problem solved and boom ta -da. so um complex things can be resolved with the simple solution but sometimes it gives you another problem like this one so let's fix this quickly as well and connect component ta -da. so that's why you want to make sure that you are modeling in the quads that's why quads are good you know it's good for the health you know good for the topology so <laughs> start doing modeling in the quads this is really important okay that's really going to save your life a lot okay uh we don't uh have problem oh, not only over here i'm actually going to do the bevel and chamfer over here as well so let's select the edge and over here as well and let's do the detailing over here with the bevel Ta -da. and let's go to the vertices and go to the center and ta -da. and there we go i think i'll just bring up like that okay now i'll tell you what modeling can be boring <laughs> so i'm not sure about you guys are getting bored or not but yeah that's the only way i'm sorry there is no other way to speed up the process i mean i can make a recording and then uh, fast forward the video that's going to look awesome but you know live is really really different you know coming live and seeing things in front of you is really a uh, different experience i i never even uh, planned for that i will be coming to live but I think I'll start liking this stuff, you know. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, in the future maybe I will be. I think I will be going to the YouTube. I am planning to do in the YouTube. What do you say? Should I go to the YouTube? If uh, if you say yes, definitely. Uh, the next live. I mean, the next project I will be doing in the YouTube. So once I do this one, then the next project will definitely will be on the YouTube. That's for sure. So, yeah, let's do the connect component. And the best part is that it's going to be recorded. And you can watch that again later on if you want. Okay, it looks good. I like the details are coming out. Okay, not bad. Let's do the some smoothing groups over here as well. Let's go to the mesh and soften edges and 
This looks good. Cool. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Let's go further. Um, I'm going to add some more geometry over here, I guess. I'm start, uh, still fi trying to figure out what kind of a concept should I add more in order to make more better. And wow, this needs to be really, really fixed. We have a lot of smoothing groups. So let's go to the mesh display, bring it out and try that. check this if it's working yep it's working so let's go to the face I think I'm going to make the, the interface quite more interesting the Maya interface many pe uh, people told me that to do this into blender I think in the future I will do this into the blender as well but right now I think I'm happy with the Maya. We do have a gap. Let me check over here. It looks like a gap. Overlapping geometry, which actually not the overlapping, but yeah, it's illusion. <laughs> wow, it's really a big illusion for me to see that. Wow, that was that was really. <laughs> Not much audience is present today. You should share your uh, page profile with people whenever you go live on Facebook. Um, I'm not looking for the audience right now. I just uh, enjoy. Uh, people are coming and seeing. Great. If not, that's still great. Not affecting to me. So it's okay. Um, <laughs> beside, uh, I'm, I'm just, it's, it's just for fun, you know. I'm not doing for, you know, marketing and all this thing. So it's just for fun. Really, I'm enjoying this, frankly speaking. <laughs> so besides, you are also over here. Thanks for supporting. <laughs> so <laughs> I really appreciate you. <laughs> okay. Not an issue. Okay. And I think everybody got the notification, but... Uh, I'm not sure if they are coming or not alive. Or maybe I just came on to the wrong time, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. <laughs> so it could be something like that, I guess. But that's okay. Um, I'm chill with that. So there's no issue with that. All right. Let's select these polygons and do a soften and harden edges. But I think uh, they're going to miss a lot because... Like uh, today, I came with the plans and all this thing, so I think I'm uh, they're going to miss a lot, that's for sure. That's I can guarantee they're actually going to miss a lot. <laughs> Maybe later on, they're going to realize, so it's a big surprise, you know. Like I said, I'm going to adding a lot of details over here, there's a lot of things. I didn't get a notification today, I had to check the profile to see if you went live. Really? Wow. Um, well, uh, that's weird. Uh, Facebook usually give the notification today. He didn't give that. That's really, really sad. Okay, I'm going to talk with the Facebook. <laughs> Definitely. Um, well, if they didn't get the notification, uh, should I inform or should what? Uh, what do you suggest? Should we inform that come here to the live? I'm live over here. I'm not sure what's going to do there. Uh, let me see if I can. Okay. Or maybe later on, I guess. That's completely fine. But it should give you the notification, I guess. Um, check, uh, can you check your notification? Are you getting that notification or not? It should that. I mean, usually do that. I mean, I don't understand. Why they didn't give the notification? Let me check. Um, two people got the notification. I'm checking over here just. And. Uh, ah, okay, that's fine. Maybe they didn't get notified. Maybe, I guess. I'm not sure about it. I think the this time, last time they all got the notification. This time it didn't came out. I, I'm not sure about it. It could be a technical issue, I guess. Sometimes it doesn't. Maybe. Yeah, I guess so. And that's okay. 
But yeah. If they want to go with the notification, it would be great. Or maybe somebody should inform that, I guess. <laughs> At least Manan, Rahul, Pratik, all these guys should. <laughs> Especially Manan, I guess. I think, I, let me uh, just do a message to Manan. Uh, maybe, because I know that he likes this Heart Surface modeling, so... Uh, come on, Facebook. I'm on live right now. Then we can make a run a gang over here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> then it's going to be fun. All right. Do I have the... Yep, I do have the supporting loops over here, which I don't want that. Since I'm making a chamfer geometry over here. Yeah, I just message him on WhatsApp. Unfortunately, he don't uh, use WhatsApp that much. So, probably he get the message or not. I'm not sure about it. But let's see. Okay, that's completely fine. I'm okay with that. Besides, five people are watching right now. <laughs> that's that's really lame. Last time it was 16, man. <laughs> wow. But at the end, it depends on the... Uh, I actually informed that I will be coming by 9. And I did. But that's okay. Alright, anyhow, let's continue. Uh, we are getting all the details coming out. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm just trying to remove the supporting loops over here, which we don't want that. And... Let's try to catch the details. Okay, who's that? Wait, hold on a second. Somebody messaging me. Uh, like that. Uh, okay. All right, cool. Uh, okay, let's select this polygon. Sorry about that. And a lot of students are contacting me right now on whatsapp <laughs> i think uh rather than facebook whatsapp is quite famous i'm not sure about it i just recently heard the uh, news that uh whatsapp and the facebook have changed their policy and they are making some changes into it uh, i mean you whatever you sharing into the whatsapp it's going to be the visible in facebook as well that's the policy I just heard that. I'm not sure about it if it's true or not. So let's see what we're going to get at. So, yeah. And let's continue. We'll be doing some chamfer over here. Cool. And. There we go. Let's do and bevel and see what we get the result. Change the friction, add some segment. Let's try two, so it looks more rounded. Let's see. It's time to do study max. Oh my God. <laughs> Can't stop using WhatsApp. Yeah, it's quite addiction. I can understand. I understand you. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> my, actually, my Alexa, she's listening to me. I'm going to turn it off. As a reminder of study. This is the time actually I do the studies over here. So how can we mirror and weld in Maya like ZBrush? It's pretty simple. That is the simplest uh, question that you asked. You just uh, go uh, to, uh, for example, I'll just create a cube. And let's bring out this cube over here. And uh, so if you want to do the mirror and weld in Maya like ZBrush, just go to the mesh and go to the mirror. And you have plenty of options. In fact, this is the most advanced mirror 
So I will be turning off this uh, combined with origin or you can just merge with borders. Just do a mirror and you will see they are merged now and you can change the axis to the word to the object and you can start playing with them. You know, you can just change the axis over here to something like Y axis and you can do it something like that. And you can even do the uh, negative to the positive as well. So you have the full options over here. So it's really, really awesome tool for the mirror. So yeah, you should try that. Definitely. And generally, oh, -ho, Shiv is here. Finally, welcome Shiv. How are you? Sorry, I wasn't able to see your live because <laughs> I just got a lot of classes today. So in order to cover them, I just got busy. However, uh, I was able to su uh, see a little bit live. Sorry, I'm late. Got lost in the path of life. Wow. Is this a movie? <laughs> it looks like a film. <laughs> it's like a film title. Got lost in the... Actually, it's a actually good title. You know, got lost in the path of life. Wow. That's... Uh, wow, that's really going to work, I guess. <laughs> so... Yeah, so Nikash is actually missing today. Uh, Nikash could learn, uh, since he's doing a lot of prop modeling these days, he could learn a lot of things over here. But yeah, uh, Kakashi dialogue. <laughs> oh my God, serious? Okay, this, sorry, this is a copyright dialogue, so you won't be able to use it. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time. But I like this. Uh, it's actually a good one, you know got lost in the path of life it's really amazing it sounds amazing you know i like that and frankly speaking now i'm following bruto it's really going awesome but i'm also watching these uh new animes uh uh what it was like attack on titans yeah i guess that's that's the name i forgot the name <laughs> i'm sorry but i just like that you know and some other animes planning to watch them as well but right now seriously focus on the work <laughs> so let's stay focused Buruto was lost today you wouldn't believe it really he was lost i mean what can wait now you're making me confused <laughs> Buruto was lost you mean to say in the program or is it you got lost <laughs> Now you're confusing me, man. Don't do this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm trying to understand. <laughs> I'm trying to understand right now. It's sometimes confusing, you know. I mean it. Okay. You mean it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> but still, man. He's awesome. Don't uh don't want to try with the Dragon Ball Z because it's too much. Not uh, I mean it's okay. I won't say it's the best. I mean they can do a little bit more better because the is it's just story about going stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. That's it. And then I, I'm just expecting some more suspense and you know I mean it's good. I don't say it's bad, but still you know it just needs some more. <laughs> And that's the only thing I'm looking for it. But yeah. <clears throat> if you have any anime, you can tell me. Uh, by the way, uh, what's was the name, uh, Ship? Uh, you gave me that anime. What was the name? I forgot, man. What was that? It was awesome, man. It's really going awesome, seriously. I must say. I forgot that's name, man. But what was it? Remember that you told me that it's the anime. It's so cool. Um... It's really, really cool. Trust me. By the way, uh, are you uh, planning to do some gaming, Chef? Yes. Because I'm planning to do the gaming. Live streaming, actually. <laughs> Jujutsu Kyoshin was the name. Yes, exactly. That was, I was looking for it. I love that anime. Just love it. Sometimes it's a little bit scary as well. <laughs> when you're wearing the headphones and <laughs> boom. Man. <laughs> All right, I'm quite looking for this kind of a reference and trying to understand. It's a, actually a real miniature. And yes, I will be adding this kind of a character uh, from the ZBrush as well. I'm uh, going to create the cockpit as well. So let's see what comes out. 
just doing some concepting. Once I do the concepting, then uh, we can add the uh, cockpit over here and the engine is going to be look over here. Yeah, it's going to look cool. Let's see what we comes out. And let's start connecting them. These are important points. Let me just take concentrate it over here, especially this one as well. Okay. Okay, looks good. Now I want to make sure that I have an equal topology on the both side. So let's delete this one, or maybe let's keep it that way. All right. Uh, so are you guys, by the way, uh, you guys know that uh, exams are coming. <laughs> Everybody knows, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's true that exams are coming. So just be ready. Okay. Okay, this edge is going all the way over here. I wanted to remove this one. There we go. And um, is it an Arnold AI basic metal you're using? No, it's just a simple material. It's just a simple blend material. I don't go generally go with the fancy materials. You know, sometimes it's not required. I mean, I can switch that uh, if I want. I can go to the, let me just uh, delete and a little bit of type history and go to the blend and change the material, something like a uh, Arnold. Uh, let's go to the AI. And we'll take that. Let me see if we can find that shader. Where is it? There's a plenty of shaders of the Arnold. Um, where is it? Where is it? We also have the, by the way, ambient illusion now. And and the car paint. Actually, let's try the car paint. Um, now, it's not going to look fancy right now, right away. Until or until if I do the rendering on the Arnolds and do the some lighting over here, but I'm just trying to f testing out these things. So, but you have these materials over here, and you can try it if you want. And for the AIs, yeah, there we go. AI stand surface, and we can change the color, something like a grayish. I like gray. Let's go with the gray. And for the highlights, obviously we have the weight, and it's not going to visible right now the surface but I'm not looking for the fancy surface right now because I'm still in the blocking and I want to stick with the blocking right now so I'm going to stick with the blend right now and uh, let's change the yeah that looks awesome by the way it's visible right if you're having a issue with the visibility let me know I'm gonna fix it okay and let's do some connections now, just to get honest with you, it's going to be a long project. So just remember that this, I, I'm not sure about how many streamings it will take, but yeah, it's going to take a lot because I'm doing the modeling, texturing, and the final renders as well. So it's going to take some time. So you have to be patient with this. So let's do the connection more. And let's do the, come over here, connect. And voila, we have the connection now. I need a one more connection. This looks a little bit offset. Okay, all the way, looks fine. Hit control backspace. I want to keep things equal over here. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. And this edge needs to be connected with this one. So let's take this edge, this vertex. And then we will get an end gone. Okay, sometimes this can be a little bit confusing, but once you solve the mystery, then it's go easy. So let's say connect the component. <clears throat> so let's select this one. And yeah, this looks okay. And Damn, man, sometimes it's really get confusing. I forgot that that's, there's a one more edge that I need to connect. Uh, sorry about that. So let's connect this one to, uh, we have one, two, three. I need an edge over here. So let's go to the insert edge loop tool and add an edge. Go to the vertex and connect to this, to this. Damn, man, it's really sometimes confusing. My just... <laughs> Sometimes it really I was lost, man. 
Okay, now I wanted to connect to this to this. And for this one, I think I will go with the multi cut. Let's try that. So let's do that. And looks okay. Okay, and let's do the same over here to this to this. Okay, but I want to check. Wow, how did this happen? Okay, thanks for the heart. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> The hearts are coming in. <laughs> That's nice. All right, there we go. Edge bridge to edge after delete phase. Yeah, yeah, of course. There's a lot of things in Maya. You have no idea when you're working with the Maya. It's you just got lost. But it happens. I think it's part of the process. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. Let's select this one to this one and connect. And we're almost done. Let's do the multi-cut. I remember when I was working in the companies and uh, you know, my boss is sitting next to me and he was looking at me and like asking me, Roman, what are you doing, man? Do it fast. I'm like, don't pressurize me. <laughs> Seriously, man. Sometimes it's so, so frustrating that somebody is looking at you. So, for example, right now, now I'm not frustrated at you, but you guys are looking at me. It's quite make me nervous, you know. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. This comes out nicely. All the details are pretty good. All right. Do have the uh, smoothing groups. Let's select that. Go all the way. Let's select this one. And select this one. All the way. Looks good. Okay, image display and let's try soften edges. Let's see what we get over here. Okay, we will not look now. <laughs> we will come back when it's done. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just kidding, man. Don't get me. <laughs> Don't get angry, okay? I'm just kidding. Come on, man. All right, you can look at me. I will just pretend that you are not looking at me, but you're looking at me, but I will pretending that you're not looking. So that will be not make me nervous. So that in that case, I will be not nervous. So I can speed up the modeling. So that means you're not looking at it, but you're still looking at it, So you can understand what I'm trying to say, right? So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's do the chamfer over here. Wow, I just did the wrap over here. m and wrap. Okay, just kidding. Uh, let's take the S edge. Take this one. Uh, since I think these inside polygons are not going to be visible, let's select this one. Wow. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> With this meme, uh, this sticker. I think it's Rajnikanth. It looks like a Rajnikanth. Don't you think so? Uh, sir, is this model for gaming? No, it's not for gaming. Actually, it's for film production. So, uh, if you are making for the gaming modeling, that means you have to make the high poly and low poly and in order to bake them. Not always, but most of the times you do the baking part over here. So, yeah. And... No, it's from the League of Legends. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. You really play League of Legends a lot, I guess. So we have one, two, three, four. <clears throat> yeah, that sticker. That sticker looks like a Rajnikanth. And I didn't see any movie from Rajnikanth anymore. I mean, what happened to the robot and other movies? What happened to those movies? I mean, they were legends <laughs> in Indian VFX. I love that game. Yeah, you sure you do, man. I was, uh, yesterday I was uh, watching the video I actually posted onto Facebook that uh, what is the difference between the uh, Cyberpunk and the uh, GTA Y City. And there was a huge difference. I really was thinking that they're going to improve the details and all these things, but it was a huge difference, man. GTA was much better than Cyberpunk. 
how can this happen i mean they should improving the game but they are making worse the game i mean wow huge glitches huge problems it really didn't work out cyberpunk is good but you know i really think why didn't make it they you know they should be you know making some a uh, good amount of details but there was a lot of glitches man by the way who's who's uh played uh anybody have played uh cyberpunk by the way over here anybody or any fan from the cyberpunk can tell me feel free to say it no problem with that I think I'm going to select this one. Cyberpunk was overhyped. Its AI is dead. No physics, etc. I agree with you. Basically, what happened is that I believe this is my concept that uh, people pushed too far, and they were expecting that this going this game is going to be really epic. Un I was feeling sad for the Keanu Reeves because he played the part over there, and he's one of my favorite actor. And they just made the terrible game, man. A lot of glitches, a lot of, uh, you know, even I, when I was watching the cutscene movie of the cyberpunk, I was horrified. I was like, oh my God, what is this? Man? But I believe they might improve. They might learn from this lesson. They're going to fix this. Hopefully, let's see that. So maybe in the future, they're going to fix this glitch and maybe it's come out nice. Um, how is the highlight face becoming dotted? Highlight face becoming dotted. Ah, that. Yeah, that was the problem. That problem happens due to the typology. So you want to make sure that your typology should stay in the quad. And that's why I'm trying to make things, everything's in quad. Now, I'm going to add some wires. So let's add some wires now. Let's do the fun part now. All right, let's go to the front view. Come over here and I'm going to turn off the grid and add more edges. No, 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 no. If you add more edges, you uh, you actually see uh, if you're adding more edges, that's not going to resolve the issue. You always remember that polygon is just a, like a paper. OK, so for example, just to show you that if I have a cube over here, I'm just going to scale it up and uh, if I make a, let's say, bevel over here on this edge. Now, it's a clean edge, but I'm just showing you an example. Let's say there is a kind of a glitch, and I'm going to take this, and let me try that. Let's try this one and hit backspace. And I'm also going to add some more edges into this. So I'm going to just making kind of a terrible quality. Uh, face jab, face mode, base selected. Ho raha hai tab red with yellow dots. Uh, kaise aa rahe hai? That's it. Ah, that's for that. I will be explaining that in a moment. But just to show you that even if you have a you know uh, artifact, that is called artifact which was coming over here. And if you add more uh, geometry, that artifacts you are moving to the corners. Okay. So in that scenario, you have to use something called mesh display and go to the uh, over here, harden, soften and soften edges because we need to fix the normals. Those artifacts actually comes by the normals. And how can you see the normals if you go to the display and go to the show and let's go to the actually let me go to the polygons and go to the face normal. So let's turn on the face normal. And you can see now, let me turn off this and let me turn off this as well. So you can see these lines, these are the normals. These are the facing normals. And they uh, decide how the uh, topology is going to look like. So let me show you those artifacts now. Let's select all these and let's do a soften and boom, look at this. So adding this uh, edges won't solve the problem. So it won't solve the issue. So you need to make sure that you have an angle, particle angle. So for example, like this one and this one, if I go to the hardened edge and boom, problem solved. So polygons are like a paper. Remember that. So you want to make sure that if you're having that kind of a artifacts, you need to fix the normals by adding the edges won't fix the problem. Yes, topology is depending on to the uh, normals. So you want to make sure that you have a quad, not the end gone. 
that is very important and a lot of people are making by this mistakes they add the geometry but it doesn't solve the problem it just goes to the corner okay so it won't fix it so just remember that okay to the next question that is the phase job mode a uh, base selected ho raha hai tab red dot ah that red dots came actually from the i'm going to change the background actually like this way uh that red dot was the uvs if you right click and go to the uv you can go to the uv over here and let me select this one go to the uv and you can see these are the red dots so these are the my uv's points over here so you can select the uv points in the real time and adjust them if you want to uh this uh this uh uv's points will be adjusting until later when we will be doing the uv's and that's how we're going to solve the problems all right uh let me add the wires so let's come to the front and let's go to the crate and go to the cv and let's create maybe i'll go with the knobs and add a circle let's try with the circle it's been a long time i haven't tried with the circle let's try the circle so let's rotate and let me go to the channel box <clears throat> and maybe i'm going to have a 90 degree i want to make sure it has a there we go the z-axis 90 degree sometimes my mouse goes to the second monitor I actually have a three monitors over here and it's hard to control them uh history delete karo circle ka uh, no uh, not all the time not right now <laughs> later on don't worry so later on i will be deleting the history as well so don't worry right now i'm just focusing on this circle and Control one right click and go to the control vertices select this one or maybe select these three Let's just delete I should not delete them, but let's try uh, Just trying to make some shape out of it I think yeah, or maybe let's do one more thing. I have a one more idea the thing of what I'm looking for it is the Let's go to the curve and let's create a two-point arc Okay, most of the people don't know about it, but you can create an arc over here by clicking to this point and then this point and boom, wow, now you have an arc over here. So I'm going to create an arc like that and just get it in. Okay, doesn't need to be exact right now because I will be just adjusting the points. But first I wanted to make sure that I have these arc over here. And I'm not sure, but I think I will be just hanging some wires onto it uh, like that maybe just scale like this and let me just go to the control vertex and just push it up like that like that and object okay looks good and maybe this looks fine I guess maybe I can control some more points in order to get some little bit better result over here like this and like that let's push it up like this looks fine all right so now we have this one let's go further maybe just push it down a little bit just to giving some gap because it's going to be a big wire so thinking about it again it's just concepting i'm just doing concepting over here let's see what we will come out but now we have this um, the curve and I'm going to create and let's go to the wire mesh and let's do the wire mesh and just bring the steps down let's start on the wireframe and see what we have over here let's turn on this 20 and scale profile will be around I guess 0 0.5 or maybe 0 0.1 yeah that looks fine maybe 0 0.2 little bit big wires that's good but I will go to the pattern and make the patterns out of it boom so now we have five wires now and I'm going to adjust this maybe two or three looks fine and now we can adjust the size of it 
and let's give some side maybe around 12 and adding more steps so it's a little bit more smoother but I will also make sure that the poly count should stay in control because later on it's going to be heavy I think I'll go all the way 50 and it looks fine so there we go now we have these wires which are connected like that and now we make going to make some uh, center pipe delivery by twice history and freeze transformation make some copies over here let's add some there we go boom we have some details are coming out looking nice sharp we don't need the curve anymore so we can delete that and there we go not bad right so we have completed the first task let's add more let me just select this one and just make it live and let's try to connect uh, wire to wire I'm trying to figure out where the wire should go sir is this a plug-in well that's a suspense <laughs> I don't know maybe maybe not I'm not sure about it I will let you know in the classes in the sky classes so uh, these are the hidden tricks <laughs> so if you want to see that you can see it there's no way that by the way uh, just one more uh, thing if you guys wanted to change the wireframe of this model you can do that as well so I'm going to bring it into engine and just select this one and let's make a layer and let's come to this one and double click and just name it let's say engine uh, layer and just to change the wireframe of this let's make it something like um, blue okay let's write that and boom voila now we just change the color of it there we go so if you don't like this color you can just double click and just change the maybe something like red wow this looks good <laughs> okay I really wish if they give us the color customized color that I can make it on my own oh they actually did I didn't knew that there was there so um maybe I'll make the color something like a black wireframe I like black wireframe yeah it looks awesome okay yeah 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 I know that don't worry I will be telling you these plugs actually I will be giving you this plugins okay so don't worry about that so let's select all this and let me just apply the bin assistant and let me just select this one and change the material uh, center power delivery type history freeze transformation change the name of the blend let's say metal there we go all right so we have a 30 minutes remaining for this live sessions the other live sessions will be on the next sunday and uh, we'll continue on that as well so we have 30 minutes remaining so no worries all right let's continue with that one uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Imanju is so happy right now <laughs> seriously <laughs> okay I, I want to make some connection out of it I think I do have some dots uh, let me see if I can find some dots over here or maybe if I don't have dots I'll make it dots so I'll create a new cylinder so dots are basically the connectors I'm making some plugs they are connected with the wire so that's the main point here so I'm going to select this and hold on V and just with the middle mouse just drop it over here and scale it like that there we go just push it in and just to get over here like that hit control one hit F and maybe turn on that like that and maybe I can change the caps Let's make it something like two. There we go. And let's select this vertex and delete. And let's go over here to the edge and just push it out like that and scale it in like that and scale it in like that. Now these scale in are not necessary. It's up to you if you wanted to do it. I'm just looking for a design basically, like I said. So I'm just looking kind of a plug over here that's kind of connected. So I'm going to select this one, just scale it out like that and yeah and maybe a little bit more design over here let's do a bevel and just change the bevel and yeah this looks fine there we go hit control e and whoop, whoop, whoop. sometimes my go crazy so be easy on that okay 
and let's take this edge to this edge and just do a simple bevel just to get out of some details out of it there we go so now we have a plug wow yay okay cool all right now just push it in like that and there we go and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some wires but I want to make sure it's on the right place so I'll just push it out like that exam tomorrow for animation ah uh, is it I'm not sure about it they know about this exam uh, I think uh, the animation exam is going to be next week but uh, the uh, for the uh, sculpting exam will be on Thursday oh sorry on Tuesday so just be ready okay uh, you have to be ready for that exam, okay? Well, I'm going to enjoy while <laughs> watching you guys in, with popcorns. I will actually bring some popcorns and enjoying your watching your exam. <laughs> you know, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Seriously, I never done this. It's going to be awesome. Cool. So now we have this plug over here, and now I want to make some connections over here. So I'm going to select this one, change the background and maybe i'll go with the live i guess there we go <clears throat> so let's go to the crate and go to the cv curve and i'm not going to use the cv curve ep curves anymore i think that's old let's use the bezier curve so let's create some points <clears throat> and just bring it out like that it looks like a pen tool you know yeah exactly the coconut <laughs> and um, I'm going to bring it over here like that there we go oh, let's select this there we go <clears throat> that looks fine start off the life and just move it up now this is very tricky to put that point into that <clears throat> center so but it work yeah it did work so let's go to the wire tool again let's go to the wire and obviously the size is too big let's bring it down so let's go to the scale profile and run 0 0.2 or maybe 0 0.1 yeah there we go and this looks okay but yeah always remember endings are not okay so you might want to go with this and let's hit 4 and see if we can get catch the controlled words and just push it in there we go now hit five just to see how they are looking even if they are not okay you're still okay because later on we can just delete and fix that issue but right now i just wanted to check the typology and maybe make some changes out of it um i think i'll just push it up just doing some random you know uh, wires and just making some connections over here so this things takes time it's quite obvious and but you have to be patient with that, you know. And later on, when you start modeling later, you get faster and faster, like me. <laughs> you know. So let's make it 50 or maybe around, I guess, 65. That's going to be much smoother over here. Still have the jigginess over here, but I'm going to optimize it later on. So I'm not going to do I, I think actually i will go 85 later on actually i'm going to do the optimizations maybe even 95 so don't worry about it these polygons i'm going to fix them later but right now i want to go maybe go four and check the where's the edge now this is very tricky to find that curve like that there we go control vertex and just bring it in there we go and yeah let's hit five and whoops this is really tricky to find that point you know in the 3d space <laughs> i i really don't like this i really wish if there was a way to fix that but yeah that's the only way so yeah and let's change the size around 12. let's look good much smoother much better cool not an issue all right let's uh set the point and bring it to the right direction and i will just select the edge and just scale it in okay like that let's look good uh, i'm going to select this one do a bevel over here as well let's bring down the friction and give a two segment so it looks a little bit more smoother 
not that harsh okay again I'm not going for the uh, poly count over here because we don't have to worry about it because it's part of the film um, so you can like it in your way and just select this one and delete but if you can save the polygon that would be great you know you should have a habit to saving the polygons so the more you save the more it's better select this one and let's give the 90 degree around 180 there we go let's move it over here and if it's hard like this to move it where is it where is it so just go to the Wii and just go to the middle mouse there we go Hit F and let's move it over here all right looks good let's push it in okay maybe a little bit down I guess like this but you need to be bring this wire as well so I'm going to select this wire again the tricky part is just to find that point which is very tricky I'll just bring it down over here let me just hit five and see where's where we're we going like that there we go look good okay and now we have a wire set now this is just one wire we have to make a lot of wires so there's going to be a lot of colors over here but yeah we have the beginning which is good and I'm going to delete this so delete by type history and free transformation there we go and just delete the curve and now we can let's leave it like that for right now I think later on I'll just fix the parts but I want to make sure that everything stays into the engine so that I can apply uh, the material and let's go over here to the existence and middle there we go this looks rocky and let's go further well so we can do some render testing as well if you guys wanted to check uh, how they render testing what do you say just let me know in the comments if you wanted to do some render testing as well we'll do some render testing uh, maybe a little bit of animations maybe I'll just do something you know? Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but yeah, let's do that if we can do it. Maybe it's like three, 500 frames. So let me know if you do some uh, need some render testing. I will do that as well. <clears throat> but right now I'm just going to set the key and let's come over here. Let's get the rotation around maybe uh, 200. Do it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. So let's play this and and let me see if we have the animation over here oh I uh, sorry my key was not open so auto key was not open so I'm going to turn on the auto key let's give something like 200 there we go and let's play what we get over here if I play this uh, like this is a little bit slow I guess let's speed up the process around 800 let's push the limits and see what we get over here zoom like that but at the end it gets slower so I'll just uh, change the graph of it quickly just simplify it and uh, let's go to the where is it where is it windows general editor modeling animation and graph editor and just quickly fix the graph right now and just make it linear and like that and just go to play again and just zoom like that okay so we have a nice animation over here cool uh, just to add a little bit more onto it I will go to the library of uh, let me go to the effects and go to the over here and get the effects and see if we can get some effects out of it uh, yeah there we go I'll just see if we can uh, do, 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 do. Fluid ocean and just seeing some kind of effect that's going to work over here uh, it's going to be look more interesting once we do that um, maybe fire not the fire I guess turbulent flame uh, liquid maybe a smoke looking for a s nice you know uh, smoky over here let's try the this one so I'm just trying and playing and see what we get over here this is actually a 2d smoke I'm not looking for a 2d smoke uh, don't worry uh, again uh, these things which I'm doing over here will be covered in the Skype classes. So in the Skype classes, I will be explaining. So don't worry about that. I'm um, just looking for something, maybe motions, clouds, fire. Let's go with the fire. Let's see the fire. What we get? Fire. Okay. 
So um, we'll be just taking all these things. Um, just let me delete the camera. Which we don't need it. Hit Control G. Let's rotate into minus 90. And just push this box to over here. Hit F and just fix it. Make it down, look like that. Push it in like that. Let me go over here and it's a little bit technical, but I'm just doing for fun just to see what the output will be coming out. Let me change the size of it into the Y axis, maybe something like a, a 30. Let's try 30 or maybe 50. Let's try 50, why not 50? And when we do that, let's see and what we get over here okay we are getting some fire but the fire is inside of the nose so i might need to bring it outside let's bring this a little bit outside just to see and let's push it in push it out like that and see what we get over here wow <laughs> as you can see okay looks cool like that as you can see wow cool huh so let me see if we, uh, if we do a little bit render and see if we can what we get over here. Wow, it looks awesome. So I need to hide the first of all this uh, scene and also I need to save it. It's important to save this file. So I'm going to save it. I didn't actually save it, man. <laughs> man, I was working too much. So let me say day one. Yeah, it's always important. So let me uh, hit hide and there we go. If I play it, looks better. And let's go to the Arnold and let's see again. Uh, see the render. Wow, <laughs> the flames are coming out. Obviously it needs some tweaking, uh, which I'm going to do it uh, later on. But I'll bring it outside like that and see what we get. Yeah, looks good. Okay, need more some editing. Uh, I'll do some tweakings later on. Um, maybe the rate of the density, I can increase that. We'll give some 22 and maybe like four and five. And the heat value can go up to three. Okay, now I know that it's part of the mo modeling and these things which I'm doing right now, it uh, doesn't really you know mean to do with the animation so but just for fun we are just doing some for fun just to see what we are getting hide the nubs these are not nubs actually this is um, um, it's a fluid dynamics basically what I'm doing over here I'm doing some fluid dynamics in order to get some dynamics out of it so that's the main key role so I'm just going to bring it back like that and see what we get again so let's play it and poof. Engine is kind of a wow, it's so cool, man. Let's do the render in the real time. Let me go on the rendering. If we can switch it and play it and see it. And you can see, ta da! Look at this. It's like a booster. The rocket engine is coming out. It's look awesome, man. I love this, man. So it's looking good, you know, it's it's actually coming out very nicely. So yeah, I like this. What do you say? What do you say? How the boosters are looking? Uh, it's <laughs> it's going to be awesome later on, obviously. And if we do it with the whole part, like this one, and look at this, engine is quite getting started. And then we have the full. So I'll do the animation over here as well later on. Yes, I'll fix that. But right now we wanted to fa stay focused on the uh, modeling. Okay. So I'm going to stick with the modeling right now. But yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> you know, when your things comes in the life, it's just awesome. So I'm going to make some more uh plugs over here just to make looks more interesting and we're going to create some more wire and it's awesome but need work uh, Bunsen burner lag raha hai but 
awesome of course yeah like i said it's just a block out it's not the final output later on I, of course i will be adding some more details into the fires and b burning out the engines but again like i said it's just block out right now so that's the main point and just imagine i will be adding the textures and the details it's going to be looking more awesome so let's make the live again and do the crate and come over here to the curves and let's do the curve so again if you want to go more into the details again you can join the classes which i'm running on the skype uh, and you can ask me the details if you want you can just type it down and i can give you the details over here as well so there's no issue uh, let's create some more points there we go and uh, I think I'm going to make the connection over here again close to this plug I guess let's do this over here let's come to the control vertices and just pull these points into the right point now it's actually snapping right now because I'm on the live so let's turn on the live just push it up and whoops and this happens a lot you click accidentally outside I can feel Substance Painter coming into picture of our texture. Yes, 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 yes. Substance Painter will be coming uh, in this project. And uh, it's going to be awesome, trust me. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going to be coming. So, but yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time because since we are running in the live classes and it's going to be a two hour live class, which is good. Uh, whoops, I just pinched the point over here. I don't want to pinch it since I'm not in the live mode right now. I'll try to delete, which is not deleting. Let's select this one, control one, and fix this point. And let's see what we got over here. Let's select this, try to fix it. There we go. And hit control one, there we go. Oh, it looks fine. Just like this one again. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky how to fix this points, you know. Especially in this scenario. Let me try that if I could push it back and push it outside and just move it a little bit back over here. And let's just push it in. Again, just I'm playing with this right now to get an idea how it's going to look like. It looks good. However, we have a little bit sharp corner, but the good thing is that later on it's going to be the uh, polygon geometry. I can just bevel it and it's going to be smoothed out. So there's no issue with that. I'm not worried about it right now, but I want to make things quite simple right now. Let's select this one and move it up like that there we go select this point I want to make sure that it's in the object mode and only the curves are moving that's what we want it's over here let's push it back just to smooth things out if you have any questions you can feel free to ask me I can answer them no, there's no issue let's push it down push it back there we go it's going to smooth it out things over here I really love this tool you know <laughs> it's just so amazing and Maya is actually doing good stuff at the modeling stuff you know but still there's a lot of things needs to be covered into the Maya let's do the cinepivot of history and increase transformation there we go Let's go to the crate and wire tool and yeah let's all right and yes of course you have told me that i have to do some rendering process as well i'm just adding one more one more wire so it looks cool then i will do some little bit of rendering process and see how it's going to look like uh maybe add a little bit ground into it but let's see i'll just end it see in a minute let's bring this down over here like that and let me delete what I've been freeze transformation. Right click and face and select these faces and just go over here to the edge. Let's just push it out like that. There we go. 
I will be doing the rendering in a moment, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> we'll see how it's going to look like. And But right now I just wanted to see how it's going to move it over here. Now here's the tricky part. I wanted to move these polygons. And now since I'm not in the curve mode, how I'm going to do it is just by hitting B. And now we are in the soft selection. There we go. Ta-da! Looks good. Okay. And let's do the same over here. Hit B. And just select and delete. Let's go over here. <clears throat> edge and hold on shift and bring it down so tell me uh, is this online live sessions are useful if it is then I will be doing more if not then I still be doing more <laughs> just kidding <laughs> but if, what do you think about these online live sessions because I need some feedbacks what do you think about it I mean is it good is it bad w what's the experience with these online live sessions is it really working for you guys because the main point is over here is that it should work for you guys so I'm doing for you guys let me know <clears throat> All right this looks good it's awesome <laughs> thanks I really appreciate okay we just did this one let's go over here to the existence and to the favorite new existence metal there we go Mira live with <laughs> of course of course of course I'm going to I, I actually you know what today I was really really busy with a lot of classes today a lot of students were coming so I just got busy a lot that's why that's all that happens so please forgive me <laughs> okay so Sometimes that happens, you know. All right, looks good. So let's add the ground and see what we got. Uh, let's add a plane and just get it out. Himanchu is gone, I guess, right? Are you still there, Himanchu? I'm not sure about it. Uh, <clears throat> I think Himanchu is going for the dinner. It's already. Himanchu already left for the dinner, I guess. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, Himanju is gone, I guess. Yeah. It looks like. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I'm right. I'm not sure about it. <clears throat> okay. Got this. Now, I want to do some lighting onto it. Let's go to the Arnold and do some lighting. Now, forgive me with my 4K monitor. This 4K monitor has some glitch. Dinner got to go night night. Yeah, don't worry. I'm also getting just close to the Finalize it physical Sun and sky and let's do a simple render and see what we comes out Ta-da Okay, not bad. That's fine. Let me turn on the 3d manipulation and see what we get over here. Okay, it looks good. All right, burning engines is coming out nicely and it's working. So, looks good. Anyhow, so I'll continue in the next live streaming, which will be on the next Sunday at 9 p.m. in Indian time. So if you want to follow, let me know. If you have any question, let me know. I will be answering in my uh, message box or you can message me. So there's no issue. All right. All right. I'll see you in the next stream. So later on. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Sleep well. So let me turn off this.